You might be familiar with crops like corn or rice, but have you ever wondered why sorghum, another highly important staple crop, is widely embraced by numerous cultures around the world? What unique qualities make this versatile crop stand out in the food and nutrition industry? Join us on a fascinating journey as we delve into the cultivation, harvesting, and processing of sorghum, while uncovering its diverse and practical applications in daily life across various regions. Sorghum is a highly drought-resistant grain. Unlike many other crops, it can thrive in semi-arid regions and withstand periods of drought, making it a valuable resource in areas where water scarcity is a constant challenge. With the global population on the rise and increasing concerns over climate change, the importance of sorghum is gaining greater attention. In fact, sorghum is the fifth most important grain crop worldwide in terms of production, following maize, rice, wheat, and barley. Our journey starts in the fields, where soil preparation is essential. Sorghum grows best in fertile, well-drained soil with a pH between 5.8 and 6.5. To give young plants the best chance to thrive, farmers usually till the soil to improve its texture, making it more effective at retaining water, a critical factor in dry regions. Sorghum is typically planted in late spring or early summer, depending on the climate. Seeds are sown directly into the soil in rows at a depth of 2.5 to 2 inches C, with adequate spacing to ensure each plant receives enough sunlight and nutrients. Once planted, sorghum enters a growth phase lasting from 40 to 60 days. During this time, the plant develops strong roots, stems, and leaves, which are essential for photosynthesis and energy storage. Sorghum has the unique feature of waxy leaves that help the plant retain moisture, a key trait for survival in arid environments. Throughout the growing process, farmers must monitor the fields to detect any signs of pests or diseases. While sorghum is relatively pest-resistant, common threats include aphids, stem borers, and root rot. Many farmers use integrated pest management practices to minimize chemical use and protect beneficial insects, helping maintain the natural ecological balance in the field. After the growth phase, sorghum moves into its reproductive stage, which includes flowering and seed development. The plant produces a flower head called a panicle, which eventually transforms into the grains we harvest.
Sorghum flowers are self-pollinating, making them more resilient in isolated or challenging growing conditions. As the seeds mature, farmers carefully monitor the color and moisture content of the grain to determine the ideal harvest time. The harvesting process begins when the sorghum plants reach full maturity, usually around 100 to 120 days after planting. At this point, the grains are firm and the moisture content has dropped to around 20-25%. Farmers use specialized machinery, such as combine harvesters, for the harvest. As the machine moves through the field, it cuts the stalks, collects and threshes the grains from the stalk, and separates impurities. It cooperates with the root investitures to keep the stalks from becoming bloated and separate from harm. The cutting mechanism helps ensure accurate harvesting at the proper height, minimizing grain loss. Inside the machine, a conveyor system and rotating mechanisms work continuously to transfer the threshed grains into a storage tank, while the stalks and leaves are discarded or processed further for use as livestock feed. After harvesting, the grains are usually dried further to reduce the moisture content to around 12 to 14 percent, making them suitable for storage. This drying process is crucial as it prevents mold growth and preserves the quality of the grain for long-term storage. Next, sorghum enters the processing phase, including cleaning, grinding, or treatment to create a variety of products, including liquor. Sorghum liquor is highly popular across many Asian countries, particularly in China, where the renowned Mao Tai liquor is celebrated for its deep, distinctive flavor. We invite you to join us as we delve into the fascinating process of crafting fermented sorghum liquor. The distillation process for sorghum liquor begins with a careful selection of high quality sorghum grains. These grains are dried to eliminate excess moisture and enhance preservation, then steamed to perfection. The steaming process is conducted meticulously to ensure each grain is evenly cooked, achieving a soft texture without becoming mushy. Temperature and steaming time are carefully controlled to retain sorghum's natural aroma. Once cooked, the sorghum grains are ready for the fermentation stage, where they are mixed with a natural yeast to create an environment conducive to the growth of microorganisms essential for fermentation. This natural fermentation process produces the characteristic flavors of sorghum liquor.
When the mixture has completed its fermentation period, it is transferred to a still where the essence of the sorghum is extracted through steam distillation. As the steam carrying the essence rises, it passes through a cooling system which condenses it into liquid form. The distilled liquor is then thoroughly filtered multiple times to remove impurities, enhancing its clarity and purity and imparting a distinctive rich aroma. Finally, the liquor is transferred into jars or barrels for natural aging. Aging time is a crucial factor in developing the liquor's flavor and aroma, allowing it to become richer and more complex over time. This aging process is a treasured secret of traditional craftsmen, bringing forth a unique and unforgettable sorghum liquor experience. Thank you all for being with us on this journey to explore the fascinating world of sorghum cultivation. We hope this has given you a deeper understanding of the significance of this remarkable crop and the dedication of the farmers who grow it. If you found this video valuable or insightful, please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. We'd love don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of the latest videos in this series. See you again in the next video.